All right, guys, so before I show you how 60 Hog Riders somehow finally got the three star, this video was recorded about a week ago. So when we say update, the upcoming update, we're talking about the one that happened a week ago. <laughs> All right, let's go. Cool. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. And look, man, as always, I'm your host, Beak. We got Melly and Pie over there. And for once, guys, I got the gold coin on here. I think it actually makes sense today because uh, I feel like I just won the game. Guys, we're going to get into that in a second. However, we're also having an update soon. You guys know this? It's we need this so bad and we are more ready than we've ever been. Guys, we got a sponsor today that is essentially going to allow us to get whatever we want in this update. <laughs> it's going to be wild. I do wonder what sponsors think about that when you're like, yeah, I'm going to just spend all your money on something stupid. You cool with that? They don't care. <laughs> hey, but guys, get your shades on, get your shoes off. You have probably seen us just flail around and be awful with mass hog riders for so long. So long. Like my clan probably hates that I do this because I go into every war and I throw hog riders at bases and I fail. But I always thought that one day it would click. I swear I'm not trying to try to smile right now. It happened. Guys, I did it. I actually did it. Now, I don't think that's a big deal to some people. I'm sure there's pro players who could hit with this all the time, but I'm Beaker. Hi, I'm Beaker. I love hog riders and I'm still a noob. So guys, we got to shout out our sponsor in a little bit, but I really want to show you guys how 60 hog riders destroyed a town hall 14 base in war. Oh my God. I can't wait to watch this again. Let's go. Hey guys, so we got a shout out to today's sponsor. Thank you to Kingdom Maker for sponsoring today's episode of Beaker's Lab. Guys, I gotta be honest. I'm not a person who thinks games are funny. Like I laugh at games all the time. You know this, but I never feel like they're in on the joke, right? So when I got a chance to check out today's sponsor, Kingdom Maker, I expected that. I expected sort of a normal, serious fantasy game until I saw three options pop up. Build my castle, kill orcs, or make a baby. <laughs> and like, those are all great. That sounds good. I just didn't expect it. And I really appreciated that. Kingdom Maker combines strategy, role playing, and simulation gameplay to create a multiplayer world in which you can play however weird or normal you want. It's a serious game that doesn't take itself too seriously. Send your nobles to research, trade, fight, or just get romantic and make some more nobles. The simplified Total War style combat is super fun on its own, or you can find PvP fights in the global chat and just go in and help somebody. Beyond the larger beats, Kingdom Maker has unique, fresh game designs and social systems lurking around every corner that will leave genre players delighted and attract a whole new crowd. Kingdom Maker is free to play on iOS and Android. There's gonna be a link in the description below. Check it out, man. Again, you guys know I love mobile games. This one feels really unique. Link in the description below. Check it out today, guys, for free. Cool, enjoy. All right, guys, so when you get matched with a level 24 clan, you think like, yeah, they're pretty good. They're gonna be really good. I think the only reason we won by so much was it looks like some other people miss their attacks, which it happens. What? Oh my God. Look at the attacks that I did on that base. Let's not, let's pretend those didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. So to give you guys a little bit of a context, this is a great base. You may look at this and be like, well, the walls are max. I mean, it doesn't matter with hog riders, right? It literally doesn't matter. Uh, maybe the heroes will get a, a, a bit of an advantage, but it's not that much. The defenses on this are crazy. I think the cannons weren't done. The archer towers are done, right? Those are completely maxed. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to say one way or the other. It's difficult, even if it's not max. And by this point, I completely lost hope. Guys, I didn't think there was gonna be a three star. So my buddy Shane texted me. I'm so glad I have clanmates that are also my friends because if they weren't, they would have texted me like. Yo, we're so sick of you, like almost missing war all the time. But anyway, Shane texted me and was like, yo, you got like a bunch of accounts in war. You got to attack. And so I rushed on there. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the hugs. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Guys, check this out. Right up until I dropped that siege, I was thinking, which siege should I use? Should I use a different siege? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If, if you can somehow get the heroes taken out with a siege, sure, get that one. But in this case, it's such a Hail Mary attack. You gotta just use what you're comfortable with, I guess. So look, we've dropped a couple of hogs. Where have I dropped them? Oh, dude, this, I think, made the raid, right? If we can take out this corner here, including that hero that was there and that Inferno and that Eagle, we good. Watch this. Oh, we're losing hogs, we're losing hogs. 
Guys, mini crew there, just a mini crew, but they have taken out such a big part of this base, and we still have 48 hogs left. Heroes are up. Wait, are we gonna get... We didn't get the eagle? How is this gonna work then? I, I really thought we got the eagle. Oh, man. Look, I saved two for Lulu. You guys see that? I saved two hog riders in the bottom. So this, this is where I was like, I'm not gonna get this. There's no way. How am I gonna get through the queen, through the dragons? Like hog riders, they don't really fight back against dragons very well. In fact, they do nothing. They just die. But at this point, you know, we've, we've already gotten through two thirds of the base. The town hall goes down. Maybe we got this. You know, maybe we got this. Guys, let me zoom out though. Oh, <laughs> That is the backup crew just from heaven right there. Look at that. Like the queen, she's doing pretty good. She's got the healing he uh, hero pet, which helps so much. And then just a couple of yetis just chilling in front. Guys, if those yetis hadn't been there, if I had brought like, I don't know, anything else, you got to figure we'd already be dead, right? If I had brought like more hogs, for instance, if I had brought more hogs, we, we probably would have been dead already because yetis, they actually benefit from taking hits because then they drop the Yeti mites, which further gets you, you know, through the base, takes out defenses. How good does it feel, guys, when you're at the end here, you got about, you know, five, six percent left and you have almost a minute left in time. Like, that's not normal. That's not normal. Normally, I've got two seconds left at this point and I'm, I'm just furious. I'm like, I'm never going to make it. I'm just furious. Guys, can you believe this worked? Like, can, can you believe this happened? And Daniel, I hope Daniel was psyched about this. Maybe they were, maybe they were like, oh man, I got, I got three starred by just straight up hogs. They were one of the lowest people in the enemy clan. But as we saw, it didn't mean they were low level by any means. I think everything here, including the heroes, most of them were max. This was sick, dude. Daniel, your base was sick. I'm so glad I finally, finally got it. We got to take on the number one base sometime with this, right? Number one three-starred by Beaker's Lab, or, you know, Beaker09, with the Hog Gang. So stupid. Guys, are we even recording? Like, like okay, I mean that. I truly mean this. Are we even recording? I just got, I had to search for so long, couldn't find any revenges. You guys know, when you're trying to get better at something, like, I really do want to be able to do this in war all the time. If you want to get better at something, you got to push trophies. You got to do revenges. You got to do it all the time. If you want to get better at mass hogs, uh, cross your fingers, knock on wood, hope for good luck. Guys, we got a three star. This. this is sick. This is such good loot. Anyway, that corner, if we take that out, two whiz towers right there. I mean, that's going to help us a lot. Whiz towers, especially. I always thought about that. If you have multiple whiz towers together, can you imagine them hitting a group of hogs? Like, it's going to go down way faster than you think. Yeah, I don't want to live that life right now. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. How about we try to... Oh, this could be really good, guys. This could be really good. Let me see where the queen goes, and I am going to try to get our heroes in there, king and queen, in to get those heroes. Enemy heroes. You know what I mean? So, this is the case where I wish I had just, like, one... Headhunter, you know, like one thing that could help us here. Oh, nope, not great, not great. King, come back. King, come back. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. All right, man. Well, we got to get in there and get that queen. I don't really know how it's going to work, but uh, here we go. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Oh, the queen went down. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, freeze that. Freeze that. Heal. Get a rage right there. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Uh, where are you guys gonna go? Where, I gotta follow you. Where are you gonna go? Okay, right there. Okay, we got more heals. We got more heals. We just gotta be careful here. So I'm gonna get one right there because we got that multi-inferno. Only one heal left. We do have a couple of hogs, but not many. Uh, oh my God, they're going in. Is some go... Come on, dude. I got no idea where you guys are. Okay, okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Please, please get that. Are you, yes! Dude, I don't know if it's even possible to get the three star at this point. We, with 30 seconds, it sounds like a lot, but I've, we've done this so many times. When you get a gang of hogs like this, they roll together. They're a crew, and I love that about them. They just never split up. Even when you want them to, like, look, they have now joined up, joined forces. They're stronger together. I was thinking about that. I wonder if super hogs, you gotta figure, like, I'm not saying this from any inside info. 
I don't know if they're ever going to make super hogs, but I hope they do. And I hope they do something with it where they... Where's the rest of the gold? What? <sighs> I wonder if super hogs could like work with normal hogs and make them better. I've said that to some of you guys, like what if it buffs normal hog riders? What if the, the super hogs just sort of rode in the middle of all the other hogs and just kind of like, I don't know, psyched them up. They're like the hype man. Or they handed out little cups of like, you know, Gatorade that, that healed them. Like, hey, you're looking a little parched. Here's some, here's some healing Gatorade. It would obviously be the lemon lime kind. That, that's the healing kind for sure. Melly, what were you doing? Melly was getting a little, uh, a little too PG-13 with his girl over there. You being a good boy? Anyway, we love you guys. Before we go today, I want to check out this, this absolute just killer, Bala. I mean, we've said it before. He's a killer, but it's okay because he's on my team. He's, he's my killer. <laughs> Hang on. Melly, you going to be good now? Okay. Guys, I do wish I could do stuff like this. And I, I, I like I could. I don't know why I'm talking about it like that. But this is just pro level stuff. You know, this is what you're going to see pros doing consistently every time. And I think that's what makes the difference between just an average noob like me, who, yeah, I can get three stars sometimes if everything goes well, but consistency is what you get when you get like a super high level pro player. It's just sick to watch. Like d how much of this base did you take? You took out 20% of this base essentially with just your clan castle. And that's what, th that's what this blizzard hit is all about. Oh, that's sick. Dude, those things are nasty. Like, if you don't have a poison, they're really trolly. It's the same with Headhunters. It's the same with a Lava Hound. You can get trolled, but if you know what you're doing, you're fine. Anyway, dude, I'm so excited for this update because, well, I'm just excited, but also the fact that we have a sponsor at the perfect time, it seems to happen that way a lot. When we want to do a fundraiser, we'll end up get, hearing from a sponsor right at the perfect time, right? And uh, I think you guys have probably noticed, I'm pretty picky when it comes to sponsors. I, I say no to like, 95% of them. So when one works out and, the, and the, the company seems cool, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And when it works out that we can do something fun with it, like this update, it's just perfect, dude. Like, we don't have to worry. Like, I don't know what's gonna be. I don't know what we're gonna wanna get, but we're not gonna have to think about it. And be like, oh yeah, I wanna get that. Uh, maybe there'll be something in the shop. Oh, I wanna get that. We good, dude, we good. And if we don't use it all, we'll spend it on something else stupid or it'll go in the two for Lulu fund, our charity fund, which, we're getting there. I think we got a couple hundred bucks in here already, and it's going to go to charity. We're all going to decide what it goes to. I'm, I'm, I'm psyched on that. I want to do it together with you guys, though. It's, it's got to be a community thing, because in the past, I've chosen the charities that we've done, which is great. But I know you guys have some input on that, too, like stuff that means a lot to you, maybe has affected your family. Cool. Anyway, Bala, as always, uh, you're making this all look bad, and we love you for it, buddy. <laughs> Let us know how you guys are doing in the comments below. Be sure to leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, and four for Paya. Dude, I feel like I, all I want to be doing is, is just raiding with hogs and doing walls right now. But we got to focus on this update. See, when I get to the end of a, of a raid like that, I don't have like 50 troops still on the field. Bala does. Cool. Anyway, we love you guys. We'll see you right here tomorrow on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Peace.